series of three of my I got ripped off on Mercari haul and I'm excited to show you what I got. All of these things were purchased before January 20th because that's when my credits were set to expire. So I'm kind of, well one, I'm still kind of mad that I got ripped off, but two, I'm kind of sad that it's over because now I have no reason to look on Mercari really. So there's that. But anyway, let's get to it and I'll show you how to do it. So these are clearly earmuffs, okay? They're nice and toasty. I never wore earmuffs before until I got a pair of earmuffs from my cousins in the Philippines, which is weird because it's super hot over there. I mean, I totally know why my cousins got me these, but they're super warm too. But I got these because they're a brand that I saw that have like a good reputation for being super warm. I actually really can't hear myself talk right now, but the brand is called, I think it's pronounced, please don't quote me, Kiki. And they make hats with furry palms on top. So I saw these and they were brand new. So I was like, I need them, bring them over here. Also, I did not pay full price for these. So these are obviously drawer pulls. They came together and I did make an offer. Man, I should, I feel bad doing that, but at the same time, it's like the function's there. So I'm gonna ask for an offer. And they accepted it, pretty good deal because I wouldn't have gotten it anyway. But I could tell that they were really good quality because when I touched them, they were super cold, you know? And you know, I'm on this whole kick of like making my bathrooms better. So now I can put these in because I showed them to you. I got six in each package so you could count them, do your multiplications, 12 total. Feel good about it. Can't wait to put them in. So this is kind of boring, but I got a bunch of one, two, three, four, five, six actually. So is that a bunch? People say a couple is two, but I feel like it depends what you're asking. Like if you're asking, oh, can I have a couple pretzels? Like I don't want two pretzels. But if you're like, can I have a couple of, I don't know, elephants? Like, I mean, never mind. Anyway. This was an easy buy because I wanted more shellac polishes because I have nothing else to do, so I've been working on my nails. Anywho, it was already a good deal, so I didn't ask for a better one. Now, I don't know, because they're in like a black bottle, right? I don't, I don't exactly know. Oh, well, I mean, it's kind of obvious, but it's always hard to tell what color is in the bottle. So, I mean, that's going to be a project too. Well, wait. Yeah, see, this is dark and it could be, it looks like it could be like a dark red or a dark brown. So, okay. I mean, still a good deal. I love Mercari, even though I got ripped off and now I have more gel polishes. Good for me. So I do have some sad news. In the previous haul video, I was talking about these shelves that I got for underneath my bathroom sinks. And once I put them in, they didn't fit, which is a total bummer. But at the same time, they were only $11 or whatever that equates to in Mercari credits. So I'm just going to relist them and resell them. So Mercari doesn't always work out, but you can't hate the app because it's like, I kind of feel like it's like if Craigslist and eBay went on a cruise and they had a one night stand and had a baby that's Mercari, so. Wah, wah. These are for you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, these are a bunch of like fake florally things that I purchased, okay? Like I am redoing my bathrooms as I said and I, I'm acting like these are real, but <laughs> I wanted to like add like more flowers like even if they were fake to like my house just to give it more of a sense of like life I guess I don't know anyway I was looking at like little pieces I could put like in my bathroom or in my living room or whatever and nothing really was striking me so I was like oh I can make some I love making things you have no idea like one time not one time well actually yeah it was one time when I was teaching myself how to sew I had the sewing machine that one of my friends gave me because she didn't want it. And I was like, you know what? Because it was the beginning of all the marijuana. And I was very determined to teach myself 
how to sew. So I stayed up for like, I want to say it was a full 24 hours and I actually made a dress. It was great. Why did I tell you that? Okay. Oh, I know why. It's because I'm making these center pieces, not center pieces, but floral pieces for my like bathroom and throughout the house. So I got these. These are like calla lilies and they have like a, a foamy feel to them. I had more than one of these, but I already like played with it. These are orchids, you know, so they're like doing, you know, like, oh, look, like this is like an Instagram filter sort. Right. Um, orchids. Yeah. And these are like, I don't know what these are called. They look palm leafy. They look very tropical. So like, again, that was like kind of the, again, that was kind of the vibe I was going for. So, you know, it was really good. These all came from different sellers and did I get good deals? No, I got a good deal on these. I put in an offer because they came with 30 and there's less than 30 here. These I did not put an offer on because they were listed for $5. So it's like, I got two of them. So I was like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna, you know, two for five, that's a good deal. And then these, I think they were more, but I also couldn't find a more competitive price. No, scratch that. I could find, I could find a more competitive price, but I wanted to get rid of the credits. Remember those credits, those pesky credits were gonna expire. They expired already. So yeah, I had to use them. So that's why, you know, there we go. You know what they say when life gives you lemons, get ripped off on Mercari. I, I don't know, but okay, so this is weird. So I was looking for all the flowery stuff, which I just showed you. And these popped up in my artificial flower search. Now they're fake lemons and you're probably like, why on earth, girl, would you want fake lemons? I'm about to tell you. So I'm a very proud Filipino American. I spat when I said that, sorry. Growing up, you know how like parents kind of tell you scary things to get you to behave? You know, there's like stories of like the boogeyman or whatever. Well, in the Philippines, the equivalent of a boogeyman, actually the boogeyman would be considered one of these. The boogeyman would be considered a moo moo. Okay, that's what they call monsters. They're moo moos. And I totally forgot about moo moos, but then I remembered them because I saw a little kid, this was before everything happened, but I saw a little kid at the mall and they were Filipino and this kid was kind of like, I can't judge the behavior of somebody else's child, but he really wasn't listening. But then his mom was like, if you go over there, the moo moos are going to get you. And honestly, that scared the shit out of me. So I was listening and then I got scared of moo moos. There's like all different kinds of moo moos, moo moos that make you get lost, moo moos that like hate you if you're doing things out of wedlock. I don't know. But moo moos are more likely to stay away if you have lemon scented things in your house. And I know you're thinking, girl, those are fake. They don't smell like lemon, but they look like lemon. And it made me feel better until I just realized they don't smell like lemon. I probably could put some sort of air fresh. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some air fresheners in these or something. Basically, I bought artificial lemons to keep moo-moos away. And you know, you guys gotta Google moo-moos because I told my friend about them and she's afraid of them now. And whenever I take my dog out, I'm like, Jax, don't go over there. The moo-moos are gonna get you. And he listens, so moo-moo repellent. And I did get a good deal on these because I think this girl, I don't know if she owned like a, I almost said Moo Moo Factory. I hope no one owns a Moo Moo Factory. That's horrifying. But I think she owned some sort of like floral business maybe and she had decorative things and she was trying to move everything. So I think these were listed for, I want to say $12 and then I offered whatever the lowest I could offer was and she accepted it. So I... Let me see if I can juggle. I can't. Ooh, that was pretty good. <laughs> so you better believe I swooped in and got these lemons. Also, I'm a big fan of lemon, the drag queen. So I'm also going to think of that now. Okay. This is dumb. Okay. So these are what are going to and this series of I got ripped off on Mercari and they gave me credits haul. I love these shoes. They're my favorite. 
and I like how they're super cute and whatever, but size five is pretty hard to find. So when I saw these on there, I was like, I gotta get them, I gotta get them. Obviously did not pay full price. See what happens here is I think people receive gifts and then they think that it's gonna fit them and then it doesn't. And then that's when I swoop in. Size five in women's shoes are kind of hard to find. Like I do get kids shoes, but they don't make these in kids sizes and also Sometimes kids shoes, even if it's like the same model, they don't always look the same. Like I know, con no, that's not true. But okay, my point is sometimes they just, they look like kids shoes. So these are just ones that I wanted because they're pink and I like pink and I could buy whatever I want because I had a bunch of stupid credits that were about to expire. Done. But these, I actually had a pair I bought before. I can't remember the app. I think it's Goat or the shoe stock shoe exchange. I don't even know, I'll look it up. But I bought a pair of these from their, not full re retail price, but pretty darn close. So it was a chunk of change. But then I was, I have a saved search for these and they popped up and I'm like, oh my God. And then I saw the price, they were $40. And I was like, free shipping. And I was like, wait a moment. That can't be, you know, just because I knew how much I paid for the other pair. Okay. And I was really surprised that like, she didn't like kind of look into it. I would have tagged on some cheddar to my remaining credits to get these, but she was only selling them for $40, which is not what I paid for the other pair. Okay. So it's like, duh, no brainer. Boop. I did not put in an offer. I was just excited to see these. So wow, there you go. I got my gold shoes and I'm happy about it. I mean, these, look at this. These are, these are fly, man. That's it. We're done. The haul has come to an end and it was really fun, honestly, trying to find things. Like it, it's weird when someone says, here's this and do this and this time. Well, that's actually life. So anyway, it was still fun sharing with you what I got so I didn't feel totally like a loser that I got completely ripped off on Mercari. But like with anything, you know, just be careful online. Unlike me, do your research, especially if you're buying something that's, you know, more expensive, like electronics or, you know, designer things. Just do your research. That was my bad. But anyway, if you enjoyed the nonsense I had to show you, I do plan on doing other unboxings of other random things I get. So if you liked it, which why wouldn't you, just hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and leave me a comment. I hope you learned from my lessons, and I can't wait to see you again.